these loops right here on point is gonna be dope yo i am unique hello my friend for the first time or once again i'm glad that you are here i haven't used fruit loops i mean fl studio since it was called fruity loops talking way back in the day today we are going to be eating one of the most cherished cereals of all time and uh being a total noob at fl studio let's do this <laughs> it's been some time but i definitely remember all of these stinking windows my goodness now, since my fruity, I mean, FL Studio game is a little rusty, I referred to the FL Studio reference guide. There's an overview, which actually simplified things a whole lot, starting with all of those windows. Obtaining mastery with fruity FL Studio's windows is by no means the purpose of this video, but using the function keys really helped me get familiarized once again. F5 will access the playlist where we do all of our arranging, F6, for the channel rack where there's some of the sounds and also a step sequencer. F7 is our good old piano roll where we can insert MIDI notes for instruments. We're gonna skip F8 and come back to it. F9 is our mixer, of course, where we can level all the sounds and add effects, etc. Going back to F8, we have the cosmos of all the plugins. Come on, let's keep going. Sweet, now we just have five steps, adding instruments, composing and sequencing, arranging and editing, mixing and levels, exporting and saving. Let's just follow along. We have the channel rack and the piano roll. That's where the instruments are. Let's go there. I'm gonna set my tempo to a nice and slow because I'm, I'm taking it slow as a beginner. 80 beats per minute. Groovy. We already have a kick, clap, hat, and snare. I'm not gonna change any of the sounds because I'm a noob. There and there for the claps. Woo! I do remember this one thing. You can right click on the sound. There it is. Fill each two steps. <laughs> kick right there and kick right there. Let's get rid of the clap and use that snare. It's a little bit tighter. Okay, what about the piano roll? What sounds can we put in there? According to the documentation, we can load a new instrument several different ways. Load plugins from the plugin picker, remember the cosmos of plugins, the browser, the add button, the add button. Let's use that. Hmm, DX10, that sounds cool. And we have presets. Mm -hmm. Overdrive bass. There is a drop down on the piano roll and you can choose what sound the piano roll is controlling. I want my overdrive bass back. Let's add some notes. That's not it. We'll delete that by right clicking. Ooh, that's nice. And then right there. <laughs> we made a beat. We have sounds. Let's keep going. What? Look at that. We already knocked out step two. Composing and sequencing. We're just gonna keep going. Arranging and editing. Now we get to put our pattern into the playlist or the arrangement. I think you just use this paintbrush thing and click it in. Hey, look at that. The most fire beat of 2019. Hold your horses. When we put sounds into the arrangement view, there's this button up here and you click song. And now when we push play, watch, watch closely. The green bar thing, now we're listening to that. So let's say if I had another pattern, it would play both of them. See, that was a bad example because I'm only using one pattern, but you get the point. Whatever stuff you put in here, that's what is gonna play now. Okay, so let's arrange our beat. Is that snap to grid? Is there a way to snap to grid? Okay, so we learned something. There's a little magnet to insinuate snapping to a grid. I'm gonna go with line. Let's see what that does. Nice, so it just goes on the line. What is the next step? Woo! Mixing. Mixing is very important. Channel rack 
Shows the channel button, the audio, the mixer, and process builder. Look at that! The numbers to the left of the sounds are corresponding to the tracks in the mixer. Oh, look at that! There it goes! There it goes! This is all making sense now. Let's add some reverb to the snare. So I'm gonna click on four because I know that's the channel where my snare is. It shows that we are on insert four, which is corresponding to the snare in our channel rack. Then we have slots where we can add effects. Let's add reverb. Um, fruity convolver. Pretty fruity. I'm assuming there's presets for this too. Ooh, there better be. Oh my goodness. That, that's impressive. <laughs> Public swimming pool. That's where noobs like to go. In the pool. Now that's pretty wet. <laughs> that's why you're here. For the killer puns about swimming pools. Okay, let's say we want to dry off a little bit. <laughs> now that we've achieved the optimum amount of wetness, we can say that our mixing is done. I guess we'll, we'll turn something down. Let's turn the hi-hats down. The hi-hats are on channel three. Let's turn those down just a little bit. <laughs> Save and export time? Uh, I think so. That's it. This is like the most simple one. You just, you just save it. I don't think I can because this is a trial version. Export MP3 file. What? Now there's uh, options. I'm just going to leave all of that there. Whatever. Let's just start. With a nice little sound. Hmm. Ah, that felt fantastic. It's a great way to explore a new piece of software, actually look into the manual, at least to get a footing and an understanding, and then you can let creativity run wild so you can just have fun. This is a great start, and it needs a little bit more. I think I do too. Should probably have another bowl. But uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang out with my accordion and rock out, you know what I mean? You ever done that before? You should try. Yeah, here we go.